This is a continuation in a video series on the Ralph steam engine. In this video, we are machining the cylinder and cylinder block for the steam engine. The steam block provides a steam inlet and an exhaust port that drive the piston. Construction notes describing the part and the machining operations can be found at the Eclectic Builds website, listed in the description. To start, a block of round brass stock is faced for the cylinder. The cylinder bore is drilled out with a size letter M drill bit. The cylinder bore is then finished with a 5 16 ring. The end cap for the cylinder is turned from the same brass rod with a recess that will fit the cylinder. We are looking for a sliding fit to allow room for the end cap to be soldered to the cylinder. The cylinder cap is parted off and reversed in the collet. A lathe file is used around the back of the cylinder cap. The cylinder steam block is machined from square brass stock, which will later be split in two. The square stock is first faced, and then centered. The center of the block is drilled to match the outside diameter of the cylinder. some deburring, and then the exterior of the cylinder block is squared up. The cylinder block is split into two pieces on the bandsaw. Finally, the edges of the cylinder block are finished on the mill. The location for the axial pivot for the cylinder block is marked using the height gauge. And the locating hole is drilled and tapped. The recess in the cylinder block is tinned and then soldered to the cylinder. Then the cylinder head is soft soldered to the cylinder. The bore of the cylinder is reamed again to deal with any distortion due to the soldering. The 
the fit of the piston is tested in a cylinder. In this case it is tight. Applying some force will cause air to blow past the piston, but this will be taken up when the cylinder is at operating temperature. If it is a little too tight, then the piston and the cylinder can be lapped together using brasso. An axial pivot is turned to size and then threaded. The axial pivot pin allows the cylinder and block to swivel against the engine's port lock. Finally, the inlet and exhaust ports are drilled through the port block and into the cylinder. As the cylinder block rocks on its pivot, the steam inlet and exhaust ports are open to allow steam in and out of the cylinder. Please like this video to increase the number of people who will get to see it. And if you'd like to see the Ralph steam engine come to life in further videos, hit the subscribe button.